Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing today, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for October 2022. See what's going to be happening in your life, what predictions we can be making for your horoscope. All right, Scorpio, now be sure to check out more than just your one zodiac sign, Scorpio, Get the to get the full understanding of what's happening in your life, rather. Be sure to check out your sun, moon, and your rising, your big three because that's how you get a better understanding of what's happening in your personal life so just keep that in mind scorpio if you enjoy this tarot reading today i would love to hear how it resonates with you all right i'll just have this right here in the comments below and give this video a like and subscribe should this uh help you out any in any way so the eight of pentacles let's get right to the scorpio because i'm really excited for your message here all right the eight of pentacles uh is the extra card that came out for you all right i usually do like a spread of three uh but i just felt called uh to be pulling out that extra one for you which is a very beautiful sign for you because i see some type of promotion happening in your life here scorpio now this could be in a, 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 any type of facet all right now the eight of pentacles naturally it will refer to like going back to school to like go up in the ranks uh it could be talking about a promotion at your job but think about this energy uh scorpio this eight of pentacle energy as just uh upgrading so a certain relationship uh in your life could be upgrading you know you think about someone who is just like you start just doing the talking phase and then the eight of pentacles would come around for when action's about to be taken uh scorpio to then go from the talking phase to then the dating phase and then the engagement and so on and so forth so really you'll know what this is about in your life scorpio should you just focus on um be realistic on like what is going on actively in your life because i feel like this is something that's not going to be a surprise for you i see what this eight of pentacles energy scorpio this is something that has been in the process of taking root for some time now you've invested the time invested the energy here you are very hopeful thinking in regards to this when i see this uh ace of swords this lets me know uh, a little bit scorpio where uh you didn't want to get your hopes up too much about this situation but uh you were you know you still were banking on this uh turning out very beautifully all right so uh, i very easily could be seeing this in a sense scorpio of where some type of project for your career or maybe like a certain relationship you just felt a calling to like continue trying to get to know someone maybe they're uh i'm being th i'm thinking about like the onion from shrek of where they talk about the layers peeling of the layers right maybe you're slowly going to be seeing a different side of a person here because um they're starting to trust you more uh, in that way, right? Whatever the case is, this hanged man experience comes in. And I like this energy for here, Scorpio, because it can represent this message of where it's like someone's seeing you in a different light. But it also is like how you're seeing the situation in a completely different perspective here. How whatever happens with that eight of pentacles, what ends up being the like what ends up being the fruits of your labor from investing into these plants that finally have taken root, Scorpio really changes things in your life all right N not like a tower energy where it's like something really dreaded here it's like now that you got to this phase here so much else changes in your environment simply by uh that one action right so best way i could use this as an analogy here is where it's just like some opportunity uh coming forward where it's just like you and this person here uh developing to a different a new level to your relationship which then means that you could uh shit like rent a place with them or even in a work environment with that promotion you're still in the same environment but it's so different for you now because after you got that promotion you can actually afford uh nicer things so on and so forth do you understand the analogy uh scorpio <clears throat> so we have the four of pentacles the world and the lovers card coming in all right so i oh hmm so this really leans into the sense scorpio of where it's like i do get this feeling of like some type of relationship in your life developing to a new phase right it comes into the sense of completion here with that world card with something that you hold intimately close to you right so whether this is like i do feel strongly it's about a person here scorpio about someone like opening up in some type of way um and being able to just like now be able to be like deeper friends or just what have you here whatever the case is it's something that you have invested your pentacles into scorpio this is very much so like 
you finally getting the payoff for not giving up in a situation right so easily again I, because i see that lover's energy here i see it very deeply from like a social aspect it doesn't have to be romance let me just clarify this scorpio but i do see the social aspect to this but you know the lover's card is also the one of the most complicated cards scorpio because of all that it can represent right obviously you take the lover's aspect out of it it represents complex decisions right where it's just like now that something comes to the forefront the next decision that you make greatly alters everything else about your life there right it's like now that you make more money now that you claim to this new promotion that's coming into your workplace that you've invested all this time and energy into now that it's here you know you're beginning that new phase as i said beforehand the world card is the final card of the fool's journey so it closes off one fool's journey to then begin a whole new fool's journey so it's like all your cards do you see how it's aligning scorpio in such a way where it's like some type of new beginning is being shaped up for you here but it's like a new beginning with something that's already settled in your life something that uh it's now becoming profitable like whatever the case is for you scorpio this is really interesting i'm actually genuinely curious scorpio about like what have y'all been uh investing a lot of time and energy into is this a relationship you know if this is a relationship like you definitely have developed something really solid um with this person here but if this is about some type of project like what is this is this something creatively scorpio if that's the case here like something's about major is about to be happening in regards to that that really uh shifts the trajectory of your life here let's continue on for what you need to hear we have the judgment card coming in here which makes a lot of sense for you scorpio the judgment card coming in under this ace of swords and four of pentacles here this is spirit letting you know that you are finally being rewarded for putting putting your ducks into this idea so how would i say this scorpio it's like you have the idea ace of swords and most people would be scared off by it they have the idea but they don't take action on it right it's like having an idea for the perfect business having the idea of being vulnerable with somebody right and because you had the idea then four pentacles you then actually committed to it invested your time and energy into this spirit is then rewarding you God, I just covered the one I wanted to show. Spirit is then rewarding you, darling, right, Scorpio, with this judgment. So truly, Scorpio, and I say this with love here, this is not going to be something that just manifests from something that just you gave up on and is collecting dust in the closet, okay? We got to be realistic here. What have you what what visions have you not given up on what vi like what do you when you wake up in the morning scorpio what is there in your life that you keep on pushing through on is this something with your own personal health is it a creative project is it you know what is it scorpio that's how you'll know exactly what this is talking about in your life all right we have the six of swords coming in here on that seven of pentacles and world card i do feel like a move is coming for you scorpio i kept on getting like this sensation here anytime i looked at that eight of pentacles it's like i kept on associating it like somehow affecting what your living situation so um, but i got shown the number six and i would take this usually in like six months so scorpio in the next six months you might be finding that your life is setting up in such a way where i feel like you're going to be leaving a situation whether it's like leaving a job or leaving like i really do feel like it's moving for most of you it's like you guys are completing especially because i'm just now noticing that the world card is the heart of your spread here there is like this major transformation energy happening for you again i randomly felt the need to say it's like it's not like a tower moment it's something of where it's just like you're packing your bags and you're moving to the next destination by choice you know you're going up in the world right you're leaving the neighbor your neighborhood <laughs> you i say that your childhood neighborhood that you always grew up on right and then when i pull the six of cups here talking about how you're growing from when you're that little uh little uh kid with her dog and then right here right so it's like there's definitely growth here you guys are really evolving and because the six of pentacles is under this lovers and eight of pentacles here the six of cups or i think i said the six of pentacles i apologize the six of cups uh scorpio represents a couple of things it represents something from your past um 
just an energy from your past, but it also can represent receiving like a divine gift or an offer or something. All right. And so you see the lovers, you see the eight of pentacles, right? Someone might be having like a, some type of like interest in like, uh, reaching out for a deeper companionship, a deeper friendship for you with you, uh, Scorpio, just as a side note. But also where this promotion comes in is the sense of receiving something, receiving an offer of an opportunity to get you out of your current environment and doing something new, which then would really reflect on this Ace of Swords, Four of Pentacles energy here, whether it's like being rewarded for this, like taking action on an idea that uh, manifests within you, right? And then spirit rewarding you for that. This could even just be like a puzzle for what y'all need to be paying attention to in the coming days and not just be a situation for how things have been panning up out, out, out up until this point. Ooh, that's interesting, Scorpio. That's interesting to think about here. You have a lot of major things uh, happening in your life here, Scorpio, without a doubt. I see you guys really evolving. I don't know why I'm being shown. You know what? I think I'm being shown the uh, number 25 because number 25 is when an ad uh, when a human like fully develops their brain. It's like their frontal lobe cortex. And I feel like the significance of why that's being brought forward to me is this sense, Scorpio, where it's like you guys are becoming uh more in tune with yourself being a fully developed version of your, who you are scorpio hmm. we have the beaver spirit coming in for you laying a solid foundation number six look up the number six at a later point in time scorpio to see how that number resonates with you what message the number six has for you in numerology laying down a solid foundation with the beaver spirit that's what's actively happening right now i feel like you guys either have already you already have i feel like already have things are starting to take root when things start taking root you're going to be really appreciating the fruits of those labors ace eight of pentacles and it's through the fruits of those labors that's going to then take you out of your current uh, situation your current environment into a new destination scorpio where you're not dealing with nearly as many problems because i feel like especially for your career i feel like if you weren't in the environment that you were in your career would look so different like you wouldn't have the nearly as many restrictions it's like you want to be like for example a food food blogger but you don't have the space to be a food blogger or whatever i don't know that's the first thing that came to mind you don't have a, an environment that's conducive to your creative ability your i your mind so that's the tarot reading that I have for you today, Scorpio. Hopefully something in here resonated with you. Thank you so much, darling, for sitting here and listening to me read. Hopefully I can connect to you sometime in the near future. I love you so much, darling, Scorpio. Bye.